Hi, everybody. I'm Callie Rose, and we're going to talk about playing a waltz on the ukulele. I'm going to show you four strum patterns and one finger picking pattern that you can use when you're playing a song in three quarter time. We're going to keep our left hand real simple, just going to make a little C chord. And I'm strumming down with my right hand. I'm kind of, of a fingernail person. So you see how cupped my fingers are so I can hit the nails like that. And the most fundamental strum pattern, especially for beginners, is to strum down, which means to run your fingers across all four strings from your nose to the floor. We're gonna just strum down on the first beat in the measure. It's called the downbeat. So we have a count of one, two, three, and we're just gonna strum down on that one. So let me show you and let's do it together. So a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you notice I'm coming from my elbow. That's the source of movement. So I can use the longer, stronger muscles in my arm, in my neck, in my shoulder, in my back. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. I'm not doing flip flops with my wrist here. Now we're going to add a little more energy and we're going to strum down on each beat. So let me show you. You can play along. A one, two, three. 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 Now let's, let's add some energy here. So we're going to do a down up on each strum. And so I go down with my fingernails. Watch my index finger in my right hand. See how it kind of drops down and I come up with a flash of that index finger. So down, up, down, up like so. Let's try it. A one, two, three, down, up, 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 down. And you notice I am punching the downbeat to add some rhythmic intensity to this. So I'm going uh, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Now the fourth strum pattern I wanna show you is kind of a, a hybrid between the down, 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 and the down, up, down, up, down, up. I call it the boom chucka chucka, because that's what it sounds like. The first beat is a down, a boom, and the second and third beats are down, up, down, up, chaka, chaka. So it looks like this down, down, up, down, up, boom, chaka, chaka, boom, chaka, chaka. So let's try it. A one, two, three, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, we will review that uh, at the end of this video, but I wanna show you now a finger picking pattern. So when I start thinking finger picking, uh, I move from this area, which is the, the sweet spot for strumming, which if you're looking at your ukulele, you look down and it's just to the left of the sound hole. But when we're finger picking, watch this, watch my right, my right arm, I am moving it over. And I am finger picking over the sound hole. I, for me, I'm making my connection to my body now right here in my forearm like so. And I want you to see how vertical my fingers are. I'm not flatting them out like this or doing things like this. It's I'm coming down as vertically as I possibly can. And the movement is this. I'm not like pulling my fingers, my hand out when I'm finger picking. You see how I'm finger picking right now. You see how still my hand is? Watch yourself in a mirror as you're learning this so you can uh, be your own teacher and make sure that you're doing it as efficiently as possible. So now we're going to count a little bit differently. Instead of counting one, two, three, we're going to count one and two and three and so for the mathematicians out there, that is six things, one and two and three and. We're gonna pluck a string on each one of those words. 
Now, I, for this particular strum pattern, uh, my thumb is plucking down on the G string. My other three fingers are tucked under their respective strings. So the index under the C, middle under the E, and my ring fingers under the A. The only, the only finger that's not invited to the party is the baby finger. So I'm just kind of resting it against the wood of the ukulele. And the overall picture of this drum pattern is nose to floor, back up to nose, almost all the way, not quite. So let me just show you, I'm gonna count it down. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So it's sort of like we, we play the G, the C, E, A strings, make a U-E, come back up to the E and the C. The downbeat, the all important downbeat, which grounds us into the movement of a song is on the G string, is the thumb. So let's try it together. One and two and three and one and two and three and one. You might have to do this hundreds and hundreds of times. And as soon as you can, close your eyes and do it. Try doing it in different rooms. Walk around and play this. It helps internalize this and get it into our bodies. This is so pretty. So now let's get practical. Let's use these ideas in a song, which we're gonna play by ear. We're gonna do the old Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. That's, that's the only part of this song we're going to do in the key of A. So our two chords are A and D. And each chord will be played for two measures. So starting back at the very first drum pattern, we're just playing down on the downbeat. So you ready? A one, two, three. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. Okay, now let's drum down on each beat. A one, two, three. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. Okay, now we're going to do a down up on each beat really amping up the energy a little bit. And I'm punching the first beat in the measure. One, two, three. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to. All right, let's do the boom chucka chucka. You ready? A one, two, three. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. And now the finger picking pattern. I'm going to slow it way down for us. One and two and three and Daisy. Daisy, give me your answer, do. There's some ideas for you. Now have a blast playing a waltz on the ukulele, and thanks for watching. <laughs>